Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is the iPad Air 2 review of the accessories that I purchased for it. If you followed my unboxing video, this may look a little bit different. Reason being, I accidentally deleted this video, so I had to remake it. Uh, the other video, I showed you how all the accessories actually worked, but unfortunately I don't have them anymore. I had to give it as a present to my sister. So I'm just going to show you on this website here and I'm going to show you the details of it and I know they work together really well so that's the other thing you can take away from it. I'm not just saying this just because. So also it it's mainly just to get the most out of the iPad and to protect it. By all means if you guys have different needs like I just wanted it for notes and things like that. So if you guys want it for something else let's say you're going hiking or you want to tr you travel a lot with it you might be better off getting an otter box or a survivor case those are also very good options as well now with this one i went with this because because i do like to make notes and things it is quite slim when it's closed and it doesn't take up much space so it's still somewhat light and you still get to see your ipad it's not covered in a big case it doesn't come with a built-in screen protector i had to purchase that separately i'll show you guys that next the good thing about this is that it has a magnetic clip on the side so when you do close it it'll lock your iPad and when you open it up again it'll unlock it so those are really nice it doesn't use up extra power now the left part of it is also rubberized so if you spill like coffee on top while it's covered it's gonna bead it's not gonna soak in so that's a really good thing on the right side the part that goes around the iPad itself is actually a rubberized compound so it form fits to your iPad and there's also holes and things drilled in. It doesn't affect your speakers or your headphone jacks or any aftermarket accessories you want to use. The ports are big enough that it won't affect those. So that's also really good too. Uh, finally, it's also, you can stand it up in a multiple different ways. Uh, you can do different angles. You can stand it up as if you were watching a movie. I'm actually going to show you that right now. Uh, before that though, you can get it for your iPad mini if you want to as well, and that's one of the ways you can stand it up. So if you watch, you can do different angles like this, so you can go pretty deep, You can and there's grooves too. The other way is if you're watching off a desk, you can stand it up like that, so you can watch a movie or anything like that. So that's really good too, um, one of the main reasons why I really like this. The second thing I bought was the tempered glass screen protector. You can go with one of the plastic ones. But I found that with the stylus that I'm using, it's a uh, the plastic ones actually create too much friction and it's hard to draw smoothly. It catches and then it lets go and then it catches. Whereas with tempered glass, you can make a straight line without uh, having too much friction because it's such a smooth surface. The other thing is, if you're worried about scratches, don't be. I have one on my phone that's lasted me a really long time and you can't even tell it has a single scratch. So these hold up quite well. Uh, the one I bought is by Zag Invisible Shield. You can buy other ones, but the reason I recommend this one is because the stylus that I used, it's a Bluetooth type stylus, and it actually works through the tempered glass, even though it's somewhat thicker than the plastic ones. Not by much, probably a couple centimeters, maybe millimeters. So it doesn't make too big of a difference. So you guys can definitely check this one out. You can also get it for Android tablets too, I believe. They do have that, and overall I love these. Now, the other thing I'm telling you guys about is going to be the pencil, or sorry, the stylus that I used. And that one's going to be the Bamboo Fine Line 2. So if we go over to that tab next, I can show you guys where I bought it. So I bought this off of Amazon, it's about $84. Uh, the other one is the Fine Line, not the Fine Line 2. That one's a little bit cheaper. It works good too. Uh, the only reason I bought the Fine Line 2 was just because I wanted something that was up to date and because I was buying everything new I just wanted the latest versions of it so that I didn't have any you know, performance flaws that maybe the other one had. But needless to say I have a friend who owns the Fine Line and that works too. So the good thing about this is there's top recharging. It's a micro USB cable and that's what you find on the Samsungs, that's what you find on the PlayStation controllers to charge with. So it's really easy, just a USB. The other thing is when you press a button, it creates a interference or like an electromagnetic field or something like that that affects the screen. So there's no syncing it with Bluetooth, there's no syncing it with, through wireless. It works on almost any tablet as long as you push the button and turn it on. I don't know about battery life, I haven't tested it out too much. I believe it's around two hours to four hours and then charging time is pretty small as well. 
but don't quote me on that. I'm just giving you guys a rough estimate, especially later on because rechargeable batteries, their battery lives go down quite a bit. Now, the other thing is it's not app uh, confined. What that means is you don't, you can't only use it on a certain app. You can use it on the whole tablet. So on the home screen, you can swipe between apps, you can open apps, you can delete apps, it, you can open your notification center, all that. So it's not just you can, it only works with Evernote or Notability or anything like that. So that's the other reason it basically replaces your finger. And also what you guys can do, I mean, these are just recommendations. If you have a different lifestyle, if you want something else out of your iPad, you can also buy accessories that are related to that. Maybe you need, like I said, the Otter Box or the Griffin case. Maybe you don't need the stylus. Uh, maybe you just want one of those data drives that you can plug into the lightning port and it gives you extra space. You can get like 64 gigabytes. I believe they're called the E-Leafs or the iLeafs. Basically, they just store it on a get on a flash drive. So because I know a lot of people don't like the fact that Apple doesn't do the micro SD cards, that could be something that makes it so that you can store extra stuff outside of your device itself. Then that basically concludes our video. So what I'm going to do is there's going to be a link to the iPad Air 2 unboxing if you haven't seen that. And I also put another video. It's my first do-it-yourself video. I'm going to be replacing an iPhone screen. So you guys make sure to check that out. I'm going to be posting more of those. And my channel basically covers a lot of stuff. If you guys have any other questions, leave comments below. I'll make sure I answer them. I'll try my best to. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next video.